What's up, everybody? Welcome to a flare for toys. Said uncultured heathen. It's your boy B. Uh, today I just hear these. I bought like this. Just gonna do the little GI Joes. This is the first GI Joes that I've actually had in hand outside of the box, except for one retro gung ho. Uh, I have a whole bunch of the classifieds, and we're gonna start unboxing. I'm gonna set up. But right now, what this is, these were already opened. I got these at uh, the North uh, Dallas Toy Show, I think, three four weeks ago. It wasn't too long ago. But anyway, these are all three complete. They're the bats, the Cobra bats. I had not had a bat until this. Well, I may have one. I'm not sure. And I got so many now. But I've been wanting one. So I ended up picking up these three. I got all three of them for 40 bucks. Thought that was a good deal complete. I don't need the box. I'm just going to throw it away anyway. It's going to set up on the shelf. We're going to pose them, all that stuff. So give me one sec. I'm going to put these old man goggles back on, y'all. Got to be able to see a little bit better. Uh, so what I think we got here, we'll open the other ones in a minute, but they're, they're all three the same. See how well it stands. All right, stands pretty good. A little foot leaning, but he stands good. Uh, it's got a little gun in his holster. Got that right there. Nice little pistol. I might have that in like one of them's hand, but I'll probably just take the other one, as you can see. And I. I like to pose a lot of my figures like this, like where they're about to pull the gun out or whatever. Like about to draw it. I like to do that. Now also on here, let's go over what they got. They got two different heads, which they're both close to the same, I think. Except this one's either a little battle-worn or it's got like an extra, the show's like the eyeball that he's actually looking out of. That's pretty cool. But it's got two heads. A little chest plate here pops off. And you can see like the workings of it, you know. It's a little robot. So you can leave it off. I'll probably maybe leave one off, but the other two I'll probably leave on. The first chest plate was the one that was on him. It's just plain. Just to cover. The other one, you can tell he's been in a battle. It's all beat up. Maybe somebody tried to heart punch him or something. I don't know. Then you got the backpack. Backpack is real nice. I like what I like about these Joes is they try to at least get most of the stuff where it can all fit on their backpacks and they can carry it. Now when he comes out the package, I guess, or when I got them, they had the two little hands, gripping hands already on there. But you can take them off. I think this is like a little drill. So he can like maybe drill through a door or some rock or whatever he needed. And that'll actually fit on the back here. See if y'all can see that. It just snaps back in. Then you got this, it just pulls out. Got the little robot mechanical grabbing hand. That's pretty cool. Then like I said, you can if you ain't want to display it with him, you can pop it right back on. Then you got this other hand that pops in. Like a little flamethrower. So he can burn some stuff. Maybe melt the door handle or whatever he needs. Or maybe he's just starting to barbecue. You know. So you got the two chest plates. You got two heads. You got the backpack with like three different weapons. And then I know most of y'all are familiar with G.I. Joe. You know, he got the little side holster. Got like a little pouch. I mean, you can't put nothing in it, but it's just there for looks. But it's really... These bats are really cool. I know they've been making a bunch of different ones now. 
But like this is the original one. Now they got the crimson bad and I think a python bad and an arctic bad. Which that arctic bad looks pretty cool. I, I think I ordered a couple of them. Uh, that and uh, the snow serpent. It's a little off topic, but I ordered a couple of those too. But uh, don't know how exactly I want to display these yet. But I'm not going to sit here and take up all your time doing that. I'll get them displayed later. But I think I'll probably want to put that flamethrower hand on one. And like I said, I'll probably have him gripping this right here. But they're all the same. We don't really need to show the other two. But you can switch out the plates. Like I said, I think I'm going to go with the battle worn plate on this one. If I can get it to stick in there. There we go. Get in there. And then see if we can, how easy it is to swap out these heads. Uh-oh. Yeah, there it go. Put a little grip in it. All right, just snaps right back on. Oh, follows his backpack. Put it back on. But there he is with the worn. See if y'all can see that. And he got his backpack on carrying all his weapons. These are really good army builders. I think some of the other ones will too. I think it's the crimson ones with the red and the Arctic bags. I think it'd be really cool. I know a lot of people have a lot of these, but I ain't gonna have that many. I, I'd like the army build, but I'm going to be running out of room, running out of real estate, and, you know, how many figures do you need of the same one? But it's up to you, you know. But that's about all we got for today. Thank y'all for staying with me, checking out the G.I. Joe Cobra Bat. I'll have plenty more G.I. Joe classifiers to come if y'all are into that. If not, stay tuned. I got plenty more. I got wrestling. I got Marvel Legends. I'll have Ninja Turtles. I'll have Hot Wheels. I'll have Matchbox. I have uh, DC McFarland. I, I got all kinds of stuff coming through the door. So y'all just stay tuned and make sure y'all like, comment, subscribe. Thank y'all for checking me out. Good night.